Here on the set of NFL Live, Dan Graziano with Josina Anderson and Lewis Riddick. And one of the big offseason storylines in the NFL has been Le'Veon Bell signing with the New York Jets. Lewis, what effect do you think the addition of Le'Veon Bell will have on the Jets this year? Well, I think it's going to be huge, not only in the run game, but in the pass game, obviously, for Sam Darnold. It's going to be imperative that Le'Veon is available, that he is one of those guys who comes into training camp in great condition and can maintain it throughout the year. Because I'll say this, as far as there being some kind of expectation, or rather what kind of statistical expectation that you would set for him, look, for me, it's 2,000-plus in, in terms of total yards from scrimmage. I think he needs to be in that category. He needs to be in the top two in order for this football team to have any shot at maybe trying to get a wild card, if that's even in the cards for them. Well, and it's that and also being a security blanket for uh, his quarterback, Sam Darnold, and being reliable and also not just as a runner, but also as a pass catcher coming out of the backfield, showing the Swiss Army knife that he can be when he's mm -hmm. rushing and or catching the ball and showing that he can also last. Because when you spend this amount of time away from football and you're asking for that kind of money, you better show that you have kept yourself in good condition yeah. to be there now when your team needs to be at that dollar figure. Obviously a whole year off from, from the game, as you mentioned, because of a contract dispute with the Steelers. He signs a new contract with the Jets. We've seen all the numbers. Do you think he made the right move by sitting out the year? Yes, I do. Just from the standpoint, it's not the money he was looking for. He did not get to reset the market for running backs in terms of the uh, total uh, figure for the APY and the max of that. But what he did do is protect the fact that he was able to earn that money by not getting hurt. So from that standpoint, he, it was good for him because if he had gotten hurt and then didn't get this contract, then we would all be saying, well, look at, ha look at that. Yeah, it's all a matter of perspective. If he feels as though it was worth it to him, then it's worth it to him. Who are we to judge whether or not, you know, he's happy with the money that he got or the money that he left on the table? What's going to be important, though, going forward is they, go they are going to want their return on investment. They made a significant investment in him. He hasn't been there very much in the offseason. He hasn't really been there at all. How quickly are they going to get that return on investment? Because it's going to take some time. And teams barely practice nowadays, right? And he's with a young quarterback who needs to kind of get in sync with him. He's with a new uh, head coach who's a first-time head coach in this city with this team who's trying to learn that team as well. And he's not there. So – I think they're going to have to be very careful to make sure that they temper expectations because I, I would expect them to start a little slow and ramp it up as the season goes on. New coach, new staff, new GM, yep. changes yep. on defense. What do we think of the Jets offseason in general? How do you think that sets up for the season? Well, I mean, they had to weather some drama by letting go of the general manager, obviously the head coach, and now you're bringing in a new general manager. I think that even though some of these practices were not um, mandatory, the thing about it is when you do have a new head coach and you're trying, trying to start a new tenure, you actually do want those pieces there because you have sure. to get going that much early because you do need a successful start. So it's kind of interesting to watch some of these uh, stars around the league that chose to stay away, which is their right, but you know, on teams that have head coaches that are new <laughs> or under pressure and needed really them to be there sooner. Yeah, there's a lot of things, Dan, as you know, that they're trying to get all moving in the same direction. Okay, they have a very strong-minded, big personality, new defensive coordinator in Greg Williams, who, and they have a very strong-minded, big personality, likes to do things his way, head coach in Adam Gase. They have players that have stayed away. They have some players that are really looking to try and establish themselves in the NFL and establish themselves as leaders, like Jamal Adams, who want to win, who are tired of losing. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in the pot here that they need to kind of like mix together and have it be something that really is tangible and something that's positive. So I think it can go either way with this football team. You just don't know until they get on the either field. way. I'm going to put you on the spot. Do the Jets make the playoffs? No, they don't this make year? the playoffs this year. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't believe answer. that, and I, and I don't. I don't mean to be like you know really extremely negative, one, but there's just a lot. There's just a lot going on, and when you don't have one of your key figures there, you're behind the eight ball. You're, you're going to have to work so hard in order for him to make sure that he is on the same page with this young quarterback and with this new head coach. I mean, that, that's why I, I've said numerous times, I just don't understand why you wouldn't commit yourself, at least to phase three, to a couple days of being there for the OTAs and being there for the 7-on-7, 11-on-11 work, because that would help you. Yeah, it definitely would help you. And there's a lot of pressure on Adam Gase to prove himself outside of having a you know, quarterback like Peyton Manning, mm -hmm. that he can groom a quarterback pretty much at the developmental level from scratch and not just have somebody that's ready-made like a Hall of Famer like Peyton Manning. Sure. They make the playoffs? No. No, I have to ride with uh, Lewis on that right now. <laughs>